Hello everybody, this is Jen from Scrapping Posh and today I am going to show you how to do etching on shot glasses. I sell these on my Etsy shop and I have a custom order today. So, first thing I do is I get something squishy, which is a towel so that my shot glass doesn't roll around on me. Clean off the glass. Here I have a piece of vinyl that's cut out. You want to keep the outside of the vinyl and remove the image. Now I'm using Armor Etch for this so it you can't use it on big spots. You want to keep it small. And I am using a dentist's pick to remove the vinyl. And then that's what your image is going to look like on your glass, hopefully. <laughs> you can use any color vinyl you want for this. I was cutting black for something else. So I'm using the black. I cut my vinyl on my Cameo Silhouette and this vinyl is from oh, where do I get? Uh, US Cutter Supply and I buy it in the 50 foot rolls and it is the matte finish and I cut my vinyl on setting um, blade thickness too and it comes off easy. So I'm going to take my contact paper which I also buy from US Cutter Supply and rub it really good on there. This is reused contact paper. I've already used it a couple times. I'm going to make three today. The first one I made didn't come out, so this is a retry. Okay, now you peel your backing off at a 45 degree angle. And then you center it on the glass. And you push down in the center first. And then work your way to either side until you're at the end. And that will limit the bumps you have. Okay. If you have any bubbles, you just push them in with your fingers and that's a pretty solid stick there. I'll do it again. Center it. And there's no bubbles in that one, so we did really good on that. 
Last one. has been used enough so that's gonna go in the trash doesn't have any bubbles in it either so we do good all right now use your armor etch and this is a bigger bottle I get this for about 20 bucks at pack tans my local craft store but you can buy it online also and I just take a synthetic brush and because this is such a small area Just use what's in the lid and brush down. Now, you probably shouldn't get it on your hands. I think it says not to get it on your hands, but it's really not that bad of a smell. It reminds me of hair permanent, like when you're getting your hair permed so and I just rub it in in all directions so that all the small spaces get filled and then I dab it on and then you wait 20 minutes And rinse it off and peel the vinyl off and you'll have your outcome your finished cup or glass or shot glasses now I sell these on my Etsy store you can get almost anything you want um, and I only do the smaller glasses because large glasses are expensive to ship. I did an order of large glasses once and I sold it for $20 and I think it cost me $12 to ship. And I, d and I do free shipping, so... Well, I did free shipping. I don't know. Not after that. So, again, up, down, around. So if there's anything that you want, you can just message me. I just did some glasses for my brother's bridal shower. Just personalized glasses and there's a lot of vendors on Etsy that do it so don't think that I am the only one by any means all right now I have those three done I'm gonna put my armor etch away and in 20 minutes I will rinse those off take the vinyl off and I'll give you a shot of what it looks like afterwards all right, so I've rinsed them really well, but I haven't taken the vinyl off yet. So you guys can already see it's frosted under there. The big reveal. See if it worked. fairly clear image but I have some bleed there so that is not a good cup I'll take this 
one off. is pretty good. I got some missing here, but that is probably uh, one of the, as good as it's going to get. Let me see here what we got on our third try. may be the one. It looks good so far. Okay. There we go. So that's a winner right there. So it took me four classes to get one good, but I think that is okay for the first try. Alright, if you guys have any questions, just leave, the leave it in the comments below. So thank you much and bye-bye.